Why, hello there, footmen and cavalry alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy, and in this short video, I'd like to talk to you about this shape. Yes, this wondrous shape, which is the foundation for what I'm calling the cheek first figure drawing, no, face drawing method. Right? Is that what I'm calling it? The cheek first structure, face structure drawing method? And uh, so, as you can see, it's a technique for uh, constructing the face, and it'll work in different views. So it's easiest to understand in side view, I think. And I figured this out, or I started experimenting with this when uh, one of these shows I was watching, Silicon Valley, which is a pretty good show, um, it's pretty funny. Uh, it, it like froze for a second; it was buffering, and um, and I saw this big area in the shadow in, on a character. And I was like, oh, that's a really easy shape to identify. Or something similar to this shape, basically. And so, I decided to start experimenting with it. And what I discovered is it's a really helpful way to start laying out the face. And getting, and, and you can build off of it really easily. And it's even helping me draw from, like, the head looking up and down. And I'm still still figuring it out, so there might be a part two to this video, but I think I've kind of like gotten the idea enough that you guys can start experimenting with it too. Or I can explain it well enough so you can start experimenting with it if you're interested. So it's this basic shape. So we've got a curve like this, straight, jawline curved inwards a little bit, and then this also curved like downwards, so it's not perfectly straight like that. And then um, the ear comes around here, right out, and this line, I usually just go straight and a little bit past the chin, I would say, and then it just goes around, neck is curving back, you can have it straight or at a curve like that, and the sternocleidomastoid, and let's just leave it at that for this drawing, and then this, uh, shelf right here, which is, an, I like that little area, okay, and then from here, I'm just going to kind of connect this with the slightly curved line, in here, this area right there is where this eye socket shape is kind of going to echo it. The eye in there and then the nose kind of, you know, it starts to fit together like a puzzle piece I feel like at this point. I'm making a pretty generic face so this guy looks the same as the last one. But I think if you just, you know, vary different things then you'll definitely get different shapes. So instead of doing it this way you could do it like this perhaps. See what kind of shape the head this gives us. See what I'm saying? And that's why I'm also saying I haven't really like figured it out per se because uh, I want to experiment more with different shapes and see what each one, you know, if there's a more feminine version, a more masculine version of the shape, uh, how to make a more thin character, would, would, would you want to do that for a thinner character to kind of, or with big cheekbones, you know? So this is the kind of stuff that I want to keep exploring. So let's look at this from a couple other views and then that'll be it. So front view, of course. Let's do front view real quick. So here's this. So, I mean, you can start, I think it's good to start with, like, let's just start with a circle, because I'm already defining the form right there. So if you just start with a really rough circle, and then you come in here. So I like to have this part, so I define where the chin is going to be. Then this comes out in a curve. I think that's probably a little too long, but that's okay. Let's go with it. And then these come out like that something like this okay and then you're gonna have oh yeah so then so this line remember from the side view that right there that think about it as curving around the shape of the skull and I think it's kind of symbolic of the upper brow but I actually have a little above the upper brow I don't think it's really symbolic it just kind of helps you lay out lay lay everything out it's not really like an actual, like you shouldn't, I don't think this line should stay at the end of the drawing. So you may just kind of put all these in. Just like that. Boom. And I like this because one thing that I've kind of been trying to figure out as I'm like learning to draw is I like kind of building things out like a puzzle piece. So like I know if I have these two I can kind of like fill this in. Okay, now I know I have like this piece here, 
So that helps me a lot to start figuring things out until it becomes more intuitive. And also to stylize things, which I like doing. So, okay, so let's try a couple non straightforward. So it'll be like a three quarters, maybe try doing looking up and looking down, though I can't guarantee that it'll work out, but uh, give you an idea of my thought process and maybe you guys can figure it out and uh, help me figure it out. Okay, so where is our shape? Something like this, like that, and this curves like that, boom boom. You have the chin, and then on this side you won't be able to see it. You know, you can still kind of imagine it. I'm trying to imagine, like, see this line? I'm trying to think of it as that. And then up like this, maybe like that, so it goes over. Give it the ear. Alright. And then, you know, the eye will... Nose, something like that. So this one I made too... Uh, did I make the face too big or something? Anyways, then you just fill in the blanks. You already got, like... The outline and everything. All right. Finally, let's do looking up and looking down. So I'll do looking up up here. Let's try it. So, so if we're looking up, so I'll make a circle. And do that just to get the feel for what we're trying to do. So we're gonna need to get the jaw. You know, you're gonna see the chin up here, and then it's like that. So then, how do we connect this? like that, and then come back, like that, and then, see, I think I bring that too far down, maybe, so, is that how it should be? I don't know, I'll fill it out and we'll find out, so I'll do the neck right now. Okay, and then, uh, alright, so, then this is that, this is this line right here, we got it up there, do very, very, very little of the forehead, this fits into that notch, We've got the nose, but we're going to turn it up like that. It's interesting because it's the same shape, but you can turn it up by the way the details you do. And when I do a more thorough video on drawing the head looking up and down, when I've figured it out myself a little better, then, uh, then uh, I'll try to talk more about that. So what is this? Something like that. See, look at this. This is... Not quite working out, but I think you can see how there's potential, don't you think? And then, oh yeah, the ear should be, let's see if, the, if I follow this method, the ears right there, is that right? I don't know. So that didn't really work out too well. Well, like I said, I'm figuring it out, and I think there's potential there. That's actually a lot better than what I would usually do. <laughs> so. Uh, it's a tough perspective, or it's a tough, it's a tough thing drawing heads looking up and down. So let's do one looking down. So how would we do this? So we got the chin. How do I indicate it's looking down? Um, maybe I'll start with this line on the top. Because I know it's going to curve like that. That's this line right here. And then from here, like this, and like that. Like this, and like that. This one I may not be doing properly, I don't know. Let's see. And this should be more like this. Huh. I'm not sure if that worked out. I think, well, kind of, kind of. Again, it's not perfect, but there is potential. So this is something I'll work on and hit you guys up with another video at some point in my life, God willing, if I should survive long enough. All right. Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.